Hi guys, K Movie Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm going to explain a 2019 Korean mystery thriller movie called The Culprit. This movie tells the story of a man seeking retribution for his murdered wife. When he cannot rely on the police investigation, the husband, Young Hoon, takes matters into his own hand to track his wife's killer. But, instead of justice, a dark truth is waiting for him at the end of his investigation. Make sure to watch until the end to uncover the bitter truth Young Hoon found out. The story starts with Jun Sung, which is Young Hoon's best friend, running towards Young Hoon's apartment, only to find out that the apartment has been turned into a murder scene with many policemen and detectives doing an investigation. He enters the apartment and sees a lady on a bed, covered in blood, lifeless. Shocked by the scene he sees, he becomes petrified. After gaining back his senses, he tries to search for his best friend. But a detective cast him out from the murder scene. Outside the apartment, he finds his best friend, Young Hoon, crying and mourning. The lifeless lady inside the apartment turns out to be Young Hoon's wife, killed by an unknown person. Two weeks after the incident, the police arrested Jun Sung. They found his hair at the crime scene. Young Hoon cannot believe it, he is his best friend. They hang out multiple times at his apartment, which can explain why his hair is at the crime scene. The police say that they found the hair at the blood pool near the victim's mouth, which makes them believe that he was present at the time of the murder. Jun Sung's wife, Dae Yun, also cannot believe what the police said. But she cannot prove that his husband was at home at the time of the murder because she was at her sister's house at that time. The CCTV around the crime scene also could not give much information because it was raining heavily that night. Moreover, the police found text messages on Jun Sung's phone. The last person that contacted the victim was Jun Sung. Because Dae Yun is also a suspect, they interrogate her alone. While interrogating her, the police said that the evidence tells that this might be a love affair case. They also say that they cannot find the victim's phone and the killer might be someone close with the victim. Dayun does not believe it, because despite his husband being close with the victim during college, he is the one who fixed the victim with Young Hoon. But after the police showed her the text message between her husband and the victim, she realized that his husband might be hiding something from her. After the interrogation is over, Dayun confronts her husband about the evidence the police showed her. On the day of the murder, they had a big fight. It turns out that after that fight, Jun Sung went to meet the victim. Jun Sung says that he just went there to ask for a piece of advice since they are close. He saw someone suspicious there, but he also says to not tell anyone about it, not even to his lawyer, because it will just confirm that he was present at the murder scene. He begs Dae Yun to trust him and reassure her that it is not what it looks like. Some time has passed, it's now five months after the murder. Young Hoon gets a call from the police. They ask them to come to the police station to pick up his wife's personal belongings. The murder case has been closed, and Jun Sung has been officially convicted as the murderer by the court. While picking up his wife's belongings, he sees some of the investigation documentation and becomes angry. He tries to take the whole box, the police stop him, but eventually, they let him take it. After that, he goes back to his motel. He meets Dae Yun in front of the motel. She calls him but he ignores her. She knocks on his door and begs to let her speak to him. She has been trying to meet him at his apartment, but he never went back home after the incident. He finally let her in. She begs Young Hoon to testify for Jun Sung in court for his appeal. But he hesitated, he doesn't know what to think anymore. He has been thinking about this for the past five months, but he still can't decide what to believe. Dae Yun begs him again and cries. Young Hoon becomes frustrated, he might lose his wife and his best friend now. He might still think that Jun Sung is innocent, but he cannot prove it. Dae Yun pushes him more but he becomes angry and casts her out. Young Hoon finally decided to go back to his home. His apartment is untouched since the day of the murder. The furniture inside is still in a mess. His wife's bloodstain still remains on the floor and on the bed. He cleans up the apartment, tidies up the furniture, scrubs the blood on the floor, and cleans the bed. He cannot bear his emotion and sobs. On the next day, he goes to a nearby mini market to get some boxes. On the way back, he sees Dae Yun is waiting to pick up her daughter from kindergarten. For some reason, she has an argument with the other moms. When her daughter comes, one of the other moms hits her daughter. This makes Dae Yun angry. But because her daughter is crying, she decides to go away. He goes back to his apartment. When he almost falls asleep on a desk, he hears someone trying to open the locked door. 
He rushes outside and grabs that unknown man. He asks him who he is, the unknown man says he is sorry, he thought that no one is inside then he runs away. Young Hoon goes back inside, his hand is bleeding. When he wipes his hand with a towel, he realizes something. He grabs a photo from the investigation box and matches it with the towel rack. He realizes something from the towel rack condition at the time of the murder. This makes him motivated to once again try to solve his wife's murder. He takes all the investigation photos from the box, learns them, then recreates the murder scene as similar as possible. He then tries to reenact all of the possible scenarios to find out what really happened on that night. On the next day, De Yun visits him. She freaks out when she sees the fake blood on the bed. Young Hoon says to her that he made that, he explains to her that he is trying to recreate the crime scene. He tells her that he is trying to get the real answer so that he can move on with his life. Either hating or forgiving them. He shows her what he has found out so far. The towel rack with his wife Sundays was covered at the time of the murder. If it was Jun Sung that visited her, she would have moved the towel rack. That means someone just dropped for a while or she didn't mind showing those undies to that visitor. That's why he thinks that it was not Jun Sung who visited his wife that night. The towel used to cover his wife's face was also a gift from Jun Sung that he specifically chose the rainbow design on it. If the killer was him, he would have recognized it and used another towel to cover the victim's face. Those things still cannot tell the identity of the killer, but he is sure that it was not Jun Sung. Despite this explanation, the police still think that this is an affair and Jun Sung is the killer. Yun Hoon says that he will testify on Jun Sung's appeal court, but he begs Do Yun to help him find the killer. On the day after that, she comes there again to help Yun Hoon with the investigation. But Yun Hoon is not there. She calls him and he says that he will be there shortly. Do Yun searches all the files and cabinets to see what Yun Hoon has found out so far. She opens a cabinet and finds a phone. Suddenly, Yun Hoon appears behind her and says that it is his wife's phone that the police couldn't find. Do Yun startled. Stuttering, she asks him why he has the missing phone. Yun Hoon says that he didn't mean to hide it from the police, but there are so many private photos of him and his wife on the phone. He doesn't want the police to see it. Yun Hoon tells her to keep it a secret and to not tell the police. After that, they try to reenact the possible murder scenario. Do Yun is still a little bit frightened, but Yun Hoon makes her do it anyway. He acts like the killer, and Do Yun acts like his wife. He tells her to lie down on the floor and shows her that there is a sign of struggle there. Then he strangles Do Yun, but he becomes too emotional and strangles her too hard. She manages to break free and run towards the exit door. She then visits Jun Sung at the prison. She tells her husband that she thinks that the real killer might be Young Hoon all along. But Jun Sung says that it is too risky to act now, if he doesn't trust them, he might not testify in court for him. One day before the final hearing, Young Hoon's father-in-law meets him. He is angry because Yon Hoon is going to testify on the behalf of the suspected killer of his daughter. He feels like Young Hoon is betraying his own wife. He goes to a nearby mini market. The mini market owner says that he has the CCTV video footage that the police didn't pick up. He gives it to Young Hoon, hoping that it will help him. The video doesn't directly show his house, but it can help show who walked past the store into his house. Surprisingly, the video shows the unknown man that tried to enter his apartment the day before, buys a knife and goes back to his car. Young Hoon gets his car's license plate number. He brings this new evidence to the police, but the police say he can't investigate someone who is not a suspect. He and De Yun then consult with their lawyer, but he says that it is too late to bring a piece of new evidence. They have to wait until the result of the appeal. Young Hoon cannot accept it, he cannot just wait after he found this important clue. He then goes to one of the detectives to get more information from the license plate number. He bribes him to give him information about the address registered on the license plate number. On the day of the appeal, he goes to the address. When that unknown man shows up, Young Hoon attacks and kidnaps him. After arriving at his apartment, Young Hoon ties the man to the bed where his wife was found dead. When that unknown man wakes up, he asks him a bunch of questions. Young Hoon then hits him repeatedly to force him to answer his question. But he didn't give the answer that he needed. Young Hoon then tapes the man's mouth, grabs a hammer, then crushes the man's knee. The man cries in pain. Suddenly, someone is knocking on the door. It is De Yun, she comes to see Young Hoon because he didn't show up at the appeal. When Young Hoon opens the door, she hears someone scream. 
She runs to the bedroom and recognizes him as the man from the CCTV. She asks Young Hoon whether he got something useful from him. But the man hasn't said anything that they hope for yet. Di Yun then persuades him to let go of the man and testify for Jun Sung in court now. Di Yun might think proving Jun Sung's innocence is the most important, but Young Hoon's priority is to find the killer. Young Hoon becomes more confused, he still can't see the truth behind all of this. He goes out of the room to take a smoke break. While Di Yun is alone with the man, he tries to convince her that the real killer is Young Hoon. If she unties him, he will help her prove Jun Sung's innocence. Di Yun believes him and unties the man. Young Hoon rushes to the room, but Di Yun closes the door. She then calls the police for help. Young Hoon finally breaks the door and enters the room. But it is already too late. The police are already on the way. Now that the police are on the way, the man tells them the truth. He went there that night to kill Jun Sung. When Young Hoon asks the reason, the man tells him to ask Di Yun. Di Yun seems to be hiding something. Young Hoon doesn't have any other option, he unties the man to let him speak. It turns out that Jun Sung is having an affair with the man's wife. She is one of the moms at Di Yun's daughter's kindergarten with whom Di Yun had an argument a couple of days ago. That night, the man was following Jun Sung, thinking that he might meet his wife somewhere. When the man saw Jun Sung enter an apartment, he snapped and bought a knife at the mini market. He then confronted Jun Sung at that apartment, but when the door opened, Jun Sung was not with his wife, he was with the victim. Di Yun falls silent because she already knew this. Jun Sung told her when she visited him before. The police have come, they are knocking on the door. The man shouts for help. Di Yun holds the man down and begs Young Hoon to not open the door. Young Hoon must choose, should he believe the man or help Jun Sung? Di Yun once again begs him to help her. He doesn't have to testify at the appeal, he just needs to not tell about what the man said to the police until the appeal is over. He drops the hammer and walks towards the door. Di Yun tries to hold him, but the man prevents her. Suddenly, Di Yun bashes the man's neck with the hammer, killing him. The police keep knocking on the door. Di Yun offers him to frame the man together, so she can save Jun Sung, but Young Hoon becomes petrified. When the police break the door, Young Hoon still hasn't answered, so Di Yun bashes her own stomach with the hammer to make it look like Young Hoon is the perpetrator. The police come inside and arrest him. After that, Jun Sung is released. His lawyer explains to him that Young Hoon is now arrested for the murder of his wife and Da Yun is not at the hospital. He then goes to pick up his daughter. While driving, he opens a bag and feels something weird inside. He stops the car and looks inside the bag. He found a knife, covered in blood. At that moment he realized that the killer is not Young Hoon. It's his wife, Da Yun. It turns out, on that night, she sees Jun Sung leaving the victim's apartment. We know from before that Jun Sung is indeed having an affair, but not with the victim. He was there because the victim also found out about the affair and wanted to talk about it. Di Yun knocks on the victim's apartment door, since she knows her, she lets her in. She asks her if Jun Sung was just here. The victim said no, which makes Di Yun sure that they are having an affair. Di Yun snaps. She slaps and strangles her. She grabs a knife and then stabs her on the stomach. She then wipes the blood and covers the victim's face with a towel before leaving the scene. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like and comment to help the channel out. Thank you for watching, and see you, next time.